Hello everyone. Welcome to the Roguelike Monthly Marathon for April 27th. We are back for another try at Ziggurat. Last time, we got all the way to the final boss before finding our defeat. So today, back with our main character, Argo, on normal mode. We'll see if we can't have a little more success. I'm going to use some liberal use of the pause and unpause in mid-recording buttons here just to try and reduce the length of the video but I'll only do that for floors where we're just backtracking or spending a long time looking for the secret room which is not behind us. We get a spellbook immediately of viper fangs, that's surely not bad and we'll start by going left and see what we find. Small enemies. Well. Oh god, there's a pillar there. First things we're going to be wanting to look for are increased max health. We're going to want to find the other two types of weapons. So a staff or a stave as the game calls them. And a explosive weapon of some description. Always looking for secret rooms. And yeah, max health. Various weapon types. If we can increase our base fire rates or our base damages or anything, I'll certainly take that as well. This is just a regular room with no extra variants on it. I can't remember already how many floors there are. It's like five or six, I think. And last time, I was very aware that there is one specific boss that I don't do well against, and in the last run, we did not fight that boss. So I'm hoping we can get through another run without finding it. Save me the trouble of getting to a boss I can barely defeat. But for now, our first level up. So... We will recover some mana when hit, or increase your spell attack rate. Uh, I'd rather not take things that require me to be hit for them to be effective, so we'll take increased spell attack rate. We can use our Viper Fangs even more quickly now. Working pretty well shooting in a wide arc. Hitting multiple enemies with one shot will always be advantageous. And they're all dropping the correct type of mana as well. That's not our secret room. Uh, we have two walls to check. Neither of those two. So we'll carry on using our mini-map into the only direction we have available to us. There's our secret room, but we'll worry about that after we've defeated these minions. Let's see what the alt fire is here. Like our regular fire, just twice as many arced shots. Hard to get these guys to stay in lines in 3D space. So let's go to the wand. Also want to make sure we're utilizing all the experience we can find, because it will despawn over time. And of course we have that alt fire on our wand as well for the small shotgun blast instead of individual shots. But nothing too difficult so far. Let's go to our secret room. You can use any type of weapon to break through it, but we have unlimited wand ammo, so why would we waste good mana on just shooting down a wall? Spell mastery. Increase your spell attack rate too. So what we'd really like now is some spell... Uh, spell mana increase so that we can have more of that mana type so that we don't burn through it all too quickly when we're attacking very fast. There is our portal key that will allow us to fight the boss when we find them. This will either be a boon or enemies. 
It's a boon. It's lots of health. We do need a little bit of that, so that's good. Uh, a trap room with presumably some kind of reward at the end, although the end of this room doesn't appear to go anywhere, but I will double check. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, there's a chest back here. Healing amulet. Use amulet to heal your wounds. Excellent. And a staff of Atlantis. Well, that was definitely worth doing. Now we just have to make the run back. We'll wait for this electricity. And tanking that, we will carry on. This could be our boss room. No, nope, there's going to be at least one more room. Let's pop our healing. So it gives about 20 healing, which is good to know. And let's see how this staff operates. Yep, just to stand... Oh, it has a chance to freeze, perhaps. Hence the Atlantis part of the description, of the title. But it has a good fire rate. Reasonably tight shooting pattern. I think that's everything to be picked up here. Yes. Alright, we must be coming on the final boss now on our first floor. There he is. He, she. But we will level up first. Reduces mana uses for spells. Or mystery boxes will be safer and will drop more treasure. I mean, treasure is great, but we did ask for reduced mana usage on spells. Because we now have an increased fire rate on those spells. So, that's excellent to know. Our staff is out of mana, but we can deal without that for now. And it's Gunkar the Crusher. And as we attack, they do drop mana. So we're not going to be without ammo for the rest of the floor. But that was exceptionally fast. It didn't take any damage as far as I could tell. And with no need for these extra health potions, we are just going to hop right onto floor two. I'm not worried about my score. Score means nothing. It's just about getting the win. The Emberstone Quarry, floor two. We have another staff. So this guy was kind of a small shotgun shot with... Uh, freezing. This is Nicholas Surge. I think this is a beam weapon. Yes, it just continually fires. So let's give that a shot. Check that this indeed was not our secret room. There's our port key immediately. No secret room in here. And another trap room. We'll give this a go, since we are at full health right now. Oh, missed that one. And this is the narrow bit at the end that can be tricky. Excellent. What treasure do you have for us? Crystal amulet. Unlimited mana for some time. So now we have to choose between that or healing. Sacrifice 66% of your health to reduce the duration of battles by 20%. Or greater attack rate in exchange for a lower mana pool. Uh, I don't want a lower mana pool. And we can't not pick one, I believe. So it's going to be Solstice. Sacrifice 66% of our health to reduce the duration of battles by 20%. So that'll be the bar at the top of the level that defines how many enemies spawn into each room. I'm hoping that this will be 60% of our health and not 66% of our max health. But we will see right now. Okay, it was 66% of our health. That gives us a good argument for taking the health amulet with us, at least until we are slightly stronger. 
Can I walk these off of this cliff so I don't have to do the run again if I want to come change them back? Oh, that worked a bit better. All right, give me one sec. All right, I figured it out. If you want to move something, it moves towards you on the exchange pickup. So if we just back up, we can keep moving this along. And then it's just going to be the dropping off the cliff that's going to be the tricky part. didn't go well. I guess I can't stand on this or push this. Well, the healing amulet is there now. That's my screw up, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can't just find some health then. And we'll just try really, really, really hard to survive in the meantime. No secret room. I did press unpause. I did... We already know that there's no secret room there. And this will probably be combat. Standard combat, no modifiers. Except, of course, 20% fewer enemies in this room. Which is fine if... There you go. We can pick up some health before things get too wild. We are out of staff mana. There's a lot of minion bar left. Evidently there was some poison doing damage ticks over time there, which is really good to know about. And this could be the last guy. Excellent. Well, we came out of that a little bit healthier than we started. If the secret room is in one of these larger rooms, it's going to be way harder to find the crack that we need. It's not that one. It's not any of those either. Sometimes they can have mana or experience in them. But they also sometimes have acid that will burn you in them. So some precautions to be taken. Right. Keep carrying on. Let's try our amulet in this room. Let some enemies populate and then we can go unlimited mana. For a surprisingly long time you'll see the bar ticking down on the amulet in a circular motion, rather. And that's some good health up. And level 5. Increase your health limit. Increase your staff mana pool. I will take the health limit. Thank you ever so much. Don't know how much by, because I can't see my maximum yet. But we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Search for secret room. Always be searching for the secret room. It's not there. Not that one. Nor that one. It's really that kind of lightning bolt kind of shaped scar in the rock that we're looking for. Another trap room, although this one leads to multiple locations. So instead of doing this immediately, 
I'm going to take the path of safety first and then deal with the trap room last. I say safety, at least uh, it's going to be enemies and not traps for this part of the route. Yeah, that was terrible. But the rooms do seem to be going pretty swiftly since we cut down on 20% of the volume. If we're going to break barrels, we should do it with unlimited ammo, of course. Here's our boss room. We do have our portal key, but I'd like to explore the rest of the floor first. Here's another interim room before the trap room again. Poison going over there. All right, we're slowly taking back up our health, which is nice. Now we have to figure out how to navigate this room safely. Close enough. Alright, very large room. And flying skulls and helmets. I mean, if you were a flying skull, you'd want a helmet, wouldn't you? If the other, the other option is to have no armor at all, because you can't wear a blessed plate. It's not going to work out. start doing now is trying to maintain our mana reserves for the boss fight coming. So lots of wand use in here. Might get another level up before that boss. This guy is glowing blue because he's an elite so they'll have either more damage or more health or something else. And getting just a tiny bit overwhelmed with stuff circling us here. But our health continues to tick up nicely with the health potions that we do find. XP very close to the level there. There it is, level 6. I think we got to just about level 20 last time. Increase spell attack rate again, or increase the number of enemies in all combats and get more drops as a reward. So we could increase our enemies and then presumably we get more health, more experience, and more mana back. Um... Well, we've just decreased the length of rooms, so we're kind of maybe working back to net zero, I guess. So maybe that's not the worst option. And I mean, in the previous run we did, none of the rooms were really the problem. It was the boss that was the problem. So we'll give this a go. Uh, I will check this big room for the secret room one moment. Why has everything crashed? What's happening? Oh, are we still recording? I'm going to assume that was just a light error as I unpaused. But I assume everything is fine. I found the secret room. Let's see what boon we get. Channeling amulets recharge faster. That's cool. I'm happy about that. So let's go back to the exit of this room. 
And it might just be the one room left on the opposite side of this channel. And to make sure we get avoid the giant spike of death. Very nicely done, if I do say so. And we'll try and use some more wand here. You can only attack while in the air. Oh, it's my least favorite modifier. Especially with these guys shooting giant fireballs and then spawning into two smaller minions when you take them out. All right, we're going for poison damage here. I need it. And since we have our amulet ready for our boss, that should be a great help. I got very wrecked there. Lots of health drops is nice. And plenty of mana too. So we seem to be pretty well set to fight the boss. Let's get across here safely. Excellent. And we can carry on around the corridors here getting back to our boss. Shoot some barrels for good measure while we're on our way. Straight across here. And we are in Bostrom territory. Let's go for the spell book to start because it has a higher fire rate, more mana currently, and we'll do poison damage. So if we can fire against the true boss, it will keep taking damage while surrounded by all of the supplementary foes that they summon. And as a benefit, it's giving us an easier chance of finding who we're looking for. Right, there goes our amulet. I did lose the true boss, but we'll find them again shortly enough, I'm sure. That seems to be them. Plenty of health. And they are down. Nice and simple. And we got 65% of our amulet back during that fight already. So nothing else to do. We found our secret room. Floor number three. Cursed Cathedral, floor three. Here's an alternate spell book. Archangel's Embrace. Possibly homing shots. We'll give it a go for a couple of rooms because the other spell book's not going anywhere. See how this turns out. Okay, so once you've fired, it seems the shots go on to have a chance of attacking a second foe, which is interesting. Although I think uh, with the green man on the ground will switch to this weapon. I think poison damage for crowd control is going to do us a little better. And it's easier to fire against multiple enemies with the wide spread rather than the tall spread. And unfortunately, we did not receive any kind of explosive weapon through the course of that floor. So we are without one in its entirety still. But that's that room defeated. Upgrade available. Check we've got all the XP and whatnot around us. It just seems to be health drops that we haven't collected that we don't need. Spell proficiency. Reduce mana usage for spells or chance of casting a magic freezing projectile each time you pick up a knowledge gem. Uh, I don't think we're going to pick up knowledge gems during the final boss, so this is less of use to us. So we'll take increased spell proficiency. And I am going to go back to our spawn room and collect the other spell book of my preference. We'll come out the other side as we do. There's... Oh, this is a Scar of War. This is just a piece of story, and for it we get a bunch of XP, which is nice. We got about a quarter of a bar there. 
Uh, let's go this way. And I'm going to use the amulet here. I don't know why my shots are curving up quite so much as I shoot across the level. Alright, there's our infinite ammo gone. Got one round of infinite ammo. Basically cleared a room, which is great. Picked up all the XP, as ever. Looking for the secret room. Always curious if you can jump through a stained glass window. You cannot. I think I got that from Banjo-Kazooie back in the day. On Mad Monster Mansion. Alright, let's see if this is friend or foe. Friend. Health we don't need. Well, it was worth finding nonetheless. There's our key. Just as ever, quick look for the secret room before moving on to... It's probably joined up with the rest. Yeah, this is a great big room here. We'll go with our spell book. Increased attack rate. Interesting. All right. Oh, yeah. That is speedy. Frey, let's get some AoE going. Being attacked from behind, I think. But our health remains pretty high as long as we're just killing quickly and picking up what health drops become available to us. At no point have I really felt like we're at any kind of risk of game over so far. Making sure to get all those knowledge gems. One foe remains. Simple stuff. And another upgrade. You will recover some mana when hit. Or we can get a random perk. Well, I prefer not to take benefits that require us to be hit. So we'll take a random. Regain health by breaking things. That's fine by me. So just this... Oh, we've got loads of exits at the north, but we'll clear out this one here down in the south to start. Uh, how are we getting up here? There we are. So we can shoot stacks of books and stuff, but we are currently at max health, so we do not need to. I think the alt fire on this is just the same attack, but more pips of damage as you fire. So, like, the ticks of damage go faster under sustained attack. But now, let's head out to the north. Just briefly looking for secret rooms along the way. Hop over this lava. Always fun to see the environmental hazards being introduced as we progress. And that one was stronger than I thought. We're still doing fine. Oh yeah, get all these guys in a row. That's fun. One left. There you are. Hey there. Get all that sweet, sweet XP. Still at our max health. 
Well, I think last time we got some kind of perk that increased our max health to up to about 300. I don't know if we'll reach such dizzying heights again. There's our secret room. Increase enemy drop rate. I will certainly take that. And we'll go do the last of our rooms before taking on our boss. Might squeeze out one more use of our medallion before getting to the boss fight. And I'm certainly happy with my choice to select this as our medallion, our amulet, as opposed to the one that would give healing. Doesn't look like we really need the extra healing at any time soon. Okay, there's all our drops. We're at max health, max mana. One extra room to do probably, and then boss fight ahead. Oh, this is a sacrifice room. Let's see. We've got all of our available resources. We we don't have any alchemy weapons, so we can give up our alchemy mana quite happily. Our max health is increased. So it was 155. Uh, we'll see what that is later. We'll offer 46 health up. Our mana pool size is increased. And I'm not going to get cocky. We can destroy these gravestones. This will slowly tell us what our new max health is. This one even had treasure in it. There's a difference between treasure and experience gems because the game does offer a high score as well as the experience bar. The high score, of course, is not our concern today. Where are you? There you are. Let's hoover up some stuff. Very nice. A little light wand work. Never did us any harm. Probably get a level up before the boss fight. That would be nice. There is another character called Sid. And they start with lower general stats for everything, but have far higher uh, XP drops. So there's a lot more flexibility in how you level up because you just receive so many level ups. Unfortunately, we're one or two knowledge gems short of a level. So let's head over to our boss. I'm going to jump cut you there. In fact, I'm just going to take some time in this giant room why do you keep crashing, game? That's what I get for pressing the pause button. We're just going to destroy a bunch of the barrels and stuff because that is free health. Any more, any more. Right, well, we have at least 162 health going into the boss. We will equip our spell book shimmy through here and let's see who it is we are fighting not the big round plant that's not a big round plant that's what i like to see oh god we got stuck on a wall gonna keep retreating and firing until we run out of ammo for this and it looks like we might actually let's just let's just do this let's just go well, that's far less effective than I thought it would be There we have it. 
So our max health is currently 191, which is great to know. Hoover up some of that extra mana. Level up again before we leave. Torture, increased duration of status effects or increase your spell attack rate. Well, we are currently poisoning stuff. So if we can increase the duration of that poison, that seems like a win-win to me. And we're at max health. Nothing else to pick up. We definitely found our secret room on this floor. Let's carry on. I feel like we're getting this, through this much faster than I did in our previous run. Although I may have to stop trying to pause because apparently the capture software does not like it. Here is another stave. Eagle staff. Just a machine gun, it seems. Although, having picked... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, having picked this up, the other one just disappeared. But no, it is there. And I'm going to stick with that one, I think. Just a quick check for a secret room. And here's our port key already. Portal key. What am I thinking of, Harry Potter? Uh, a gnarly looking trap room. If we can get over to there swiftly, we'll give it a good try. Excellent. Well, that was swift. A bunch of XP and a perk. Reduced mana usage while stationary. Okay. Not sure that I'll get tons of use out of that, but good to know. No cracked wall over here while we're here. We're just going to do a big leap over these spikes. And we are out. Lots of nice early perks, though. Very welcome. I'm going to go unlimited mana on this. And then hopefully recoup some of our mana after the fight. I can let the uh, the heads all kind of line up for a while. All the birds. The birds works too. We can just wreck. With our spread shot. Obviously being pretty gung-ho about things at the moment. But my health is not a concern right now. Okay, back up to where we started. We've got no sign of the secret room, a different exit. Further no signs of secret rooms. And let's just take this one while we're here. That's our boss, so we will leave that be until we found all that this floor has to offer. I think last run we collected something that gave us something like more experience, but there was a higher chance to have weird modifiers on each room, so in comparison this feels pretty tame. This is quite the conglomeration of giant liches. Right, we need a spell book. Far less intimidating when you can plow down 
six or eight guys at a time. And then they give you more art, more mana than you can possibly know what to do with. And we have an upgrade available. Saves you from a mortal hit or increases your health limit. I'll take the health limit. Thank you ever so much. We've got a room back to a place we've been. A couple of dead ends. No sign of a secret room in the center. We can destroy all these stacks of books for health. And we can find stuff inside them as well, which is great. And there's our secret room. Diligence pays off. What do we get? Increase your spell mana pool. Excellent. So you can see now on the right-hand side bar, the right-hand side of the screen, that blue bar is physically larger than the other two. So now that we know we've been to the secret room, we can just start worrying about going to everywhere else before our boss fight. Still yet to find any kind of explosive weapon. Would like one. That's the other staff that we don't want. And our amulet is ready to use again. So, let's do that. I wonder if this inflicts some kind of slow status. Because they get that kind of blue electrified animation when using the alt fire. And we, of course, have longer lasting status effects, so that could be to our benefit. I'm probably doing a little too much blind tanking of hits right now, rather than trying to have slightly more finesse about how we go about things. sure we collect everything we can. Very good. We did find the secret room like five seconds ago, didn't we? We did. Okay. I will stop looking for it so enthusiastically, this floor. But I am going to keep shooting books because health is health and that's smart. That's right, kids. Books make you smart. Uh, a trap room with six exits. Nothing too much to worry about there. Carrots spawn on dead enemies. Well then. So There's such an awkward geometry to this room. And you want to be trying to attack things only while the petals are open. as other carrots, the most threatening vegetable. Come on. There you go. One last carrot. And that was a nice dead end. A, B, S, B. Always be shooting books. Alchemy plus 50%. Others minus 50%. We don't have an alchemy weapon. This is a very unfair game. I'm going to be here for a while. Still, poison can help us out. Man, do you reckon they've put enough of these guys in the room? 
Jeez. I don't like about this weapon is it simply doesn't shoot straight. All the shots curve upwards in a bizarre fashion. Got some amulet going. the last guy. I'd like it to be. They have all the health in the world. Right, quick. Grab everything that's going to despawn first. Watching it despawn in front of my eyes. That's fun. Alright, well, we've got to level up. Increase wand attack rate or reduce health, damage and movement speed. Greatly increase attack rate and mana regeneration. That is an interesting prospect. Um, if... I wish we knew how much our health would reduce by, because at the moment we're sitting on 221, which is a good amount. And I'm not really that invested in one attack rate. Reduce damage and movement speed and health. Greatly increase attack rate and mana regeneration. I think the reduced damage and the reduced movement speed is a problem for us because we're doing so much damage just through poison. We can just poison something and then run away for a little bit if we have to. So I'm going to opt out of that and just take Wand Mastery. It's not awfully exciting, but it's going to do the job. How much left of this floor? Decent chunk here in the lower left. Oh, we have our first room of obelisks. As ever, we have to destroy the obelisks. And then once the obelisks are destroyed, enemies will stop spawning. Then we simply must destroy the remaining enemies in the room. Oh boy, there seem to be lots of them. Right, give me this mana. Give me my book. And after you've destroyed the obelisks, none of the creatures in the room will offer XP anymore. Because otherwise you could sit here and XP farm and that's not very functional. couple left. There we go. No green mana around. That's fine. Give me another room. Oh, wow. Giant green carrots that explode into gunk. That's a really not fun time. I wonder if they're resistant to poison damage or not. Oh, I hate so much about this. But it's over, and that's great. Grab everything we can find. Blowing out candles, I think, counts towards our destroy stuff and get health. It did. That's one whole HP. But a level up is a level up. Amulets recharge faster too, or knowledge gems give you more experience. 
This would be nice, but I think it's a bit late in the game for it. So I'm going to take channeling and try and utilize our unlimited mana amulet as many times as we can over the course of the rest of the run. We've got a spell book now. Coming out to the last of the exits from this room. Yep. Big gungy carrots. Whoa. Right. Let's do a lap of XP grabbing. Because we sure did leave a lot of stuff in our wake. And then it's just a couple of the guys in the sky. And that seems like a perfectly adequate wand job, don't you think? No candles for you. Alright, so we're not earning back our health as fast as we're giving it up right now. Which is something to pay some extra attention to. I appreciate I've been a little bit uh, aggressive with my attacks and movement. That room there giving us no bother. Speedrun parkour. Let's do this last room. Oh, it's a box room. Healing, please. The last two were healing. Oh, a perk is perfectly acceptable. Increase wand mana regeneration. Sure, I'm not going to say no. Just our boss room remaining. So I'd like to be a bit more healthy going into the boss fight, but we have plenty of mana. Our amulet is charged. We're not going to take that staff. We've got our key. We just have to hop along through. Uh, we're going to start on our book. Ready to activate our amulet. Oh, it's a giant carrot princess. That's fun. Backwards and strafe strategy seems to be working fine enough. Oh, that's very fast. That's very fast. Okay, run away. Run away. Let's go with some laser focus here. So many carrots. We got them before they got us. Let's just not die by stepping in acid. I don't know that I've ever fought that boss before. And unfortunately, they did not drop much in the way of health. Which does make me a little sad. But there's nothing else to do on the floor. So we'll hope that the next one is more generous to us. Across the million point barrier. I don't know if that's worth anything to us. I mean, I know that it's not, but I'd have no idea if it's a good score. Auger Fortress, final floor. Well, wow, 54 minutes. It's practically a speed run. And we got an explosive weapon. Excellent. We can finally utilize all of our mana. Okay, that's one way for a weapon to work. Seems 
grossly inefficient and apparently we get hurt in our own fire, so let's never use that weapon again. Oh god. Not where I want to be. Does this room just have every foe in it? That's what it feels like right now. And none of them are dying and dropping health, which is really what I need. There's health. Oh yeah, just get blown up on your way to trying to pick up the health. That's going to be really net positive. Man, that room sucked. And they dropped sod all health. Let's never do a room like that again. And let's spend far too long going around shooting every barrel we can find. Because that's worth like 15 HP to us. that our secret room or is that just how this wall looks? I think that's just how this room looks. Yeah, that's not our secret room. Alright. Well, I'm not a big fan of our explosive weapon. This is a trapped floor. Don't stand on it too long. Giant enemies. Oh boy! I mean, they're far easier to hit. Oh, there's a staircase there. Alright, grab the health. XP is good too, but I need the health. Alright, we can rest slightly easier for a few moments. Increase your alchemy damage? No. Your speed increases a lot, but your maximum health is lowered by 20%. Well, this is just not fun. 20% of our health is like 46. I don't want to lose 46% of my health. And I don't want to increase my alchemy damage and de decrease my other two. Can I not just skip? I really don't want to have to make this choice. That's definitely the wrong button. Um, one sec. I suppose slightly decreasing my spell and stave damage isn't so bad. Only because they say slightly. Right. Quick check for secret rooms. Any blessing right now could make the difference. We have unlimited mana ready for the next room. And lots of barrels to destroy, which is excellent. Right, let's go. Oh god. Where did all the tiny ones come from? I've got no out. I've got nowhere to run. That'll have to do.
I hate everything about this room. Give me the health. This is our last guy. I think this is the last one. Right, well now we have to wait for that fire to go out before we can collect the XP, which is just lovely. Alright. Okay, quick lap of the room. Looking for secret rooms. And shooting all the barrels, because that's health to us right now. Alright, well, 154 HP right now is not awful. Please be a bunch of free health and not loads of terrible enemies. Yeah, it had to be enemies at some point, didn't it? This seems like a bad plan. Jeez. Get off my back. There is a level up perk you can get. I think it's called the White Orb, which is just a, a free max heal. You just simply don't get any other benefit from that level up. So it's only really a temporary buff for you, but it could be valuable to me at the right moment. Oh, joy, another giant room. many of these explosive weapons in Ziggurat, and this might be my least favourite I've ever used. I guess it's not so bad when you're directly backtracking, but oh hello. Alright, apparently a lot of stuff did die here. I will concede that point. And actually now we have a whole heap of health. Where are you, last one? Whoa. Alright. Secret room hunt continues. We've discussed that is not the type of crag we're looking for. We can destroy the stones, although that seems like a lot of effort for knowing which ones are the ones that can be destroyed. Like, can this guy be destroyed? Oh, eventually. Right, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's find another room. We have our amulet available to us. That is great news. Scavenge. Okay, so we're looking for these pink crystals everywhere. We can't defeat the room until we have enough pink crystals to fill the bar at the top. Which is rough because all the enemies are just going to be collaborating to be in our way. Especially on giant flaming bridge. 
Right, we're about two thirds of the way there. I guess this is where the extra movement speed would really come in handy. But we declined that offer earlier. One more, come on. Don't make me cross the bridge. Right, now we can kill everything. And I hate the fire. I can kill this guy we can safely get across the bridge start dealing with the rest of the problem there we go use our amulet while we take these guys out rather than spending all of our ammo not our best amulet we've ever used but we did find a secret room so i'm not going to be mad about it I'm going to take the secret room perk before I do my upgrade in case they might synergize. Mana gems give you more magic energy. Sure. Increase your health limit. Increase your alchemy damage. Let's take the health limit. Thank you ever so much. Can we see our cap? Is there a button for that? I'm sure that there is a button you can press that shows you all of your stats and how much health and mana and all your perks and stuff. I just don't know what the hotkey is for it on the keyboard. But we found the secret room, so now we don't have to look at every single wall we find. What we've not yet found is our portal key. Lower walk speed, of course. We can still sprint, it's just kind of awkward. Right, give me that. Now, do I burn through that way faster than everything else? Or is it just me? ever, hoovering everything up whilst we have the chance. Alright, maybe I'm not giving the exploding weapon enough credit. It's doing some good work in large crowds. Alright, only a thousand other places to look. Not to worry. Uh, is this fountains? This is fountains. I don't want to give up my health. I don't want to give nothing. I can afford to give 108 spell mana, I think. Divine Indifference. Mana pools for spells is increased, but so does something. Oh, the other two are way down. Jeez. Okay, sure. Let's do this one as well. Sure, why not? Your mana reserves are refilled. Well, that's nice. And I'm not offering up my health. I can't afford it. This whole game, watching this guy's hand be green, has confused me with whether we're using the staff or the spellbook the entire time, because the staff energy is the green one. Staves, plus 50% damage. That is the green one. Oh yeah, it's killing stuff right quick, that is. I don't know why everything's so shaky though.
All right, that was quite an easy room as they go. Grateful for it. Our amulet is once again ready to go. Now, we've got a big backtrack, two long rooms. So what we're now, April 27th, three more days. Odds that we find a win in there? Fairly low, I guess. If we win this, it would be a really good time. There's a small chance I could pull out a risk of risk of rain win if I had a really good set of items and stuff, and if I did a much better job of trying to do better combat on that game. This is free XP, which is lovely. And some story. I'm not here for the story today, but I am here for leveling up. Turtle. Greatly reduce the amount of damage you take, but also reduce the damage you inflict. No, thank you. Wand link. Increase your mana regeneration. All right. I just said no thank you, but I'm thinking about our poison that we have with our mana pool of 439, I can now see. That is a whole lot. Greatly reduce the amount of damage you take, but also reduce the damage you inflict. See, is this, is this wordage? Greatly reduce damage I take, but also just reduce the damage I inflict. So if I'm doing poison over time and fire over time, maybe turtle is the way to go. So let's try it. Let's also destroy all the stacks of books because we're not at max health and I will take any excuse to try and be at max health. Okay. And we will very carefully try and walk through here. That went pretty nicely. Don't get stuck on stuff. Yeah. Poison doing good work. Grab all this. Staying at max health again, which is really nice to see. To see you. Nice. TV shows I never watched. Okay, that was a bad run. Uh, very, very large room. Obelisks. Standard fare. And that weapon is terrible for that. That's not much better. Looks like there'll be three obelisks in this room rather than usual two. Let's try and retrieve some of this stuff. One more. Where are you? Hiding in the corner. Right, let's loop round for the drops because the drops come exclusively from them and with a bit of infinite mana. That is just good fun, isn't it? When you can just tear into a field of enemies at fairly low risk. Maybe this is a job for some explosions. Perfect. Right, 
green mana. We need green mana. Well, that went pretty well. It's nice when the enemies are the, the plain and simple ones. This is our boss room. This is where our final boss will be. But we do not yet currently have our port key to summon them. So, adventuring around for us it is. And it's going to be somewhere off of this trap room. I'm not really sure how I'm expecting the final fight to go. Oh joy, another giant room. I'm not super confident with A, the ability I have to deal with the, the mobs that spawn and the general level of trash that there is in that fight. And B, the sheer, like the, the attack patterns and stuff of the main boss themselves because I've only done this main boss a couple of times that's really rough I should probably not stand so close to that god that guy won't die Give me all this stuff, please. Thank you. We could be looking at our last level up before the final boss. The thing about this weapon that I've not really been utilizing is the effective infinite range. As long as you're targeting something specific across the map. Yep. Shoot where I'm going, not where I am. Good guy. Yeah, as long as I'm a... Uh... Oh, it's going to be this room. I completely missed it. Uh, as long as I have a clear shot of what I'm looking at, I can just about uh, shoot anything from anywhere across the room. Uh, we're taking a left on here. This will probably just be our port key room, won't it? There it is. Alright. And that is every exit done. We found our secret room. So all that remains is to take our last upgrade and fight our final boss. Now there is a temptation here. That, As I said, there is a chance that an upgrade can be a free full heal or some such. And you can upgrade in the middle of a fight. So, oh, so what I could do is wait until I'm midway through the fight, possibly losing, and then pop the upgrade. That is something that I think I could do. And honestly, the options that that will afford me are probably worth more than the option of just updating my upgrade now and having that benefit from the start of the fight rather than the middle of the fight. So it's going to be a bit of a pain pressing U of all buttons, but I think we'll figure it out. Here is our spellbook. We have our amulet ready to go, so there's nothing else to do but give this another go. So have at it. Hey, buddy. You the same? Yes, you are. Creepy mask face. Let's try and keep up a little bit more range on them in the early game. Try and watch out for these exploding runes and such. 
Oh god, I can't even see the bastard. There he is. Alright, we're about 20% of the way. We are hurt, which is not great, but... We just learned we can shoot the giant purple blobs that he fires out, so that's good to know. I'll probably wait until about we have 75 or so health, and then pull the trigger on doing our upgrade. This is not going terribly swiftly. I can't even see the boss. Upgrade. Mana gems give you more energy and knowledge gives us more XP. Well, it's going to be this and I'm not going to be happy about it. really should be watching where I'm going more because of these exploding rune things. This fight is just the worst. That's not even the... Is that still the boss? Or is that a spawn? I can't tell anymore. Yeah, we are not long for this world. Well, we got through half of its max HP. I have no idea how that compares to previous attempts. One HP left. One single individual HP. Yep. I knew it was unlikely. I do not know if we will try Ziggurat again before the end of the month. But uh, 1.5 million is a score for you. Join me for the last couple of days where we'll see if we can't find a win somewhere amongst the remaining roguelikes in my library. But if you've got this far, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.